Hello inventors, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how to create video calling app using MIT App Inventor. Here we go. So let me show you the demo of this app first. Then we will create this app. Here you can see that's the my first screen. Here you will find meeting ID join and you can see create meeting. Okay. So uh, let me just uh, that request permission. So make it grant and you need to click on create meeting. Okay. Just click on this and you'll find here that's my face okay so now uh no that's the first view now i have to share this uh id to someone right so we need to click on share meeting id and you can share it with anyone so i will share to the another person let me put this uh, email id in another phone okay. id in my another phone and click on that join button okay so here you can see the two camera uh, here right so we can create a video calling app using MIT App Inventor, right? We need here some things like first thing we need your MIT App Inventor platform. Second thing we need the free hosting and we need some code and we need some scale drone channel ID and all things are totally free of cost. You don't need to pay any amount to anyone. Okay, so let's start. So first we will create the app. Okay. And then we will create hosting and then we will create code. Okay. And then we will connect both. Okay. To complete our app. So let's open MIT App Inventor and click on start new project. Project name is video calling app. So that's our first screen. Let me just design join and create button here. So I'm going to use your layouts and the layouts is vertical arrangement. Okay and make this one vertical arrangement height and width fill fill parent okay and then i'm going to change the background color of this click on image upload file choose file so that's my background so i'm going to drag and drop your one button okay for joining the meeting join the meeting second button for creating the meeting and i need one text box for entering or meeting id to join this meeting to join any other meetings okay and click on vertical arrangement and make this one left align horizontal to center align vertical to center okay and i'm going to use here one label also and make this label to something or okay so you can create or you can join okay like this and change this button text button one to say suppose join and i'm going to use your color plate okay color hunt to get some uh, plate colors so let me if i just choose this one also it's uh, cool okay this one is fine so let's just suppose background color of this is something this style like this and turn this and make this font size at least 18 oh, oh 18 is no 18 not 28 18 and make this width is at least 70 percent or let's make it 50 percent join okay and change this text color to white right and make it font bold so that's our join button and another button we will make it it's something another so which one this one or you can say this one dark and make this one create button create meeting button text color should be white and the text should be a uh, create meeting right and make this one is also 80 and make this width is 50 percent like this right now that's your text box join or create meeting now let's just hide this vertical arrangement and drag and drop another layout okay so click on layout and drag and drop another not not scroll normal vertical arrangement and make this one is also fill parent like this and we need here one horizontal arrangement simple this one and make this one with this fill parent and we need one more vertical arrangement here in that part 
okay and make uh, we need one more thing is horizontal one more horizontal this one okay and make this horizontal to be this fill parent and make this one vertical should be height is fill parent and the width is fill parent like this click on user interface drag and drop one button and then another button okay and this one button is for share back you can see and this one button for share your code whenever you create the meeting so you have to share code or link to join the meeting for other guy okay so share your share share this meeting or share uh, meeting id okay share meeting id like this and you can you can simply define that color okay like this whatever you want text color white share uh, meeting id and the button you can say suppose orange oh no not text color it should be black the background should be orange and then make this one is also 16 at least okay like this one is also 16 like this right this one and make this horizontal should be in a center and align horizontal also should be center fine now we need a drag and drop to one text box here and we need one more button here and in this button we will use your go okay and make this one horizontal to also in a center in the center make this text box with this fill parent or you can see uh, yeah fill parent is fine like this okay and you can change this uh, button background color to orange make it font bold and it's fine 40 right now that's the overall app okay we need your customization uh, we need one extension here okay so this one is custom web view extension so you can just type custom web view controller so you will get that custom web view okay from here i will give you the link of this extension in the description okay so we have to download this extension actually this extension will allow us to uh, to get the camera access of mit app inventor app okay so this is important because our normal browser we can't access the camera from that so that's why and we need some code to uh, get the permission also okay so let me just download this this one sometimes some AI, aix file not working so i will give you the proper link of direct aix file okay you can download it you should download that aix aix file also because there is a problem with version also so that's why okay so be careful so extension import extension and import this and import okay so drag and drop custom web view here right now go to the block section so first whenever someone whenever someone open this app so we need to display here this one vertical uh, arrangement one screen okay this one so whenever someone click on join button it means in which button it means button one so we have to hide this vertical arrangement one okay so whenever someone click on button one so we have to hide vertical arrangement one set visible okay uh, false and another is means vertical arrangement 2 should be true like this same we have to do for create button also it means button 2 so simple button 2 right same thing we have to do like in button 1 and for button 2 now now let's go to the block section here and we need here a lot more code here because we need some permission also so let's do the okay one by one first we will uh, create the variable okay so click on variable click on this like global and i will uh, allow that name is permission permissions okay and we will make a empty list here click on list create empty list here like this okay now second thing second thing we need permissions here okay so whenever so click on that custom web view and you will find when when you can say you can say on permission request also so let's uh on permission we have to find on permission request this one this one block drag and drop it here okay like this on permission list we need to set 
all that permissions it means in that list set global permissions okay in the cat permission list here okay so design we need your one notifier you will see this one drag and drop this go to the block section now click on notifier and you will find your so choose dialog this one okay drag and drop it here like this okay now we need your one message here okay so for message we have to display like we are getting some permission so we have to display that permission name okay so we will uh, use your join function and in the join in the first in the first text in the that one is static and we will just type your this uh, app ask for permission okay so suppose this app ask for permission okay and then we will use simple column and slash and to make it another text in the new line okay and another thing we need here we need here we need to get the all all list all list permission okay so we are getting that list here so we have to display all that list okay so what we can do here we will use simply click on list and you will find your join item using separator so join option you will find here this one drag and drop this here okay and in the first this one is slash n okay this one and then in the second we will get the all permission list this one permission list right right now in the button one we can say deny or in the button two we can say okay make sure this should be here okay not in a title okay so in the title what we can do we can display simple thing like uh, we can say uh, like a uh, request permission or something request permission okay and in the button uh, one and two we will simply say deny or accept fine and in the cancelable true oh, you can make it false also because if i someone say uh, cancel then this app will not work okay that's why we will make it uh, false okay so after choosing after choosing whenever someone choose this then what we will do click on that notifier okay so after choose here we'll find after choosing so we need to identify which option they have choose so if the answer is suppose the grant okay then it means for that we need to check condition if else here simple and if the condition is true it's the maths here we'll find this one here and if the get choice okay if the get choice is mean this one get choice is equal to grant it means this one okay then we will call here custom web view dot grant permission for all of the permissions so click on that and you will find the call permission this one dot grant permission call it here and the permission which permission we have to call then global permissions that we have created that list right global permissions this one we have to uh, allow all these permissions okay fine now now this is now on that page load okay in that page load we have to uh, we have to actually uh, open the URL okay of our video call app so for that we have to create hosting panel right okay. but actually this video is going long so in the second part we will create some six to seven more blocks here okay and we will create the hosting panel and we will create uh, we will uh, combine that both things for completing our video calling app okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye